Hello, everyone. Happy New Year. Welcome to 2020. This is uh, the first reading, you know, I'm doing uh, after the, you know, some time, some break with the family and everything. Hope you have a great time. Thank you so much for joining in. Today, we're going to read about career, uh, finance, uh, soul purpose, life purpose for 2020. And I'm going, I have a lot of decks here, so five decks, and I will try to cover as much as I can. And uh, for these readings, I'm combining the Eastern and the Western um, astrology. Um, these are combinations that are not usual because obviously one, uh, the Eastern astrology is based on the year that you were born, where the Western astrology is based on the month that you were born. So essentially, in total, both have 12. So good news is 12 and 12. I'm going to combine based on the characteristics of the different signs. And today is going to be Capricorn and Ox. So either you are a Capricorn, either you are an Ox, or you are both, you know, you can use this reading and take it as a resonate. If you don't, if you are a Capricorn, but not an Ox, feel free to check on your animal in my next, in the other readings. And any information about myself and uh, how I can support uh, you in your journey, please, uh, you know, check on the box uh, under the video and uh, please um, let me know your thoughts about the reading. I'd like to hear your comments. I like, uh, I hope you like it. Give me a thumb up if you like it. And um, and yes, let's uh, start. I have five different decks here and I will be answering different questions uh, and focusing on the different things around your career, your finance and your life purpose for 2020. Okay. So first, we're going to start with the tarot cards, okay? And um, if you have any question about the, the tarot decks that I'm using, just, you know, ask me. I'm not going to put it there because, um, I mean, a lot of you know already. Okay, so this is going to, kind of going to be live. So Capricorn and Ox, we're going to split your year in the quarters, like we do in any company that we work. We separate... We separate the year in quarters. What are the main energies for the first quarter, second, third, and the final quarter? And I'm going to put two cards around, uh, you know, those quarters. And um, and I hope, uh, you know, we will get answers about, you know, wh where you need to focus your career, uh, you know, and what are the things that are coming in the different quarters or you need to pay attention to, okay? So we're going to split. And I'm going to take this one. Okay. So first quarter, Capricorn and Ox. Second quarter, third quarter. Let's see if we have a space. And the final quarter. Okay. So then we're going to pull the other different cards. But let's start with this. Okay. What do you expect on the first quarter? Okay. We start in the first quarter with a six of coin and a two of swords. Okay. What I'm getting is that you are in a position that you have your very balanced in your, your job at the moment. I mean, the quarters are three months each, no? So the first three months, we're talking about six of coins. You are in a situation that you're very stable, very balanced. You, you get what you give. Okay. So you get what you give. It's a very uh, nice position to be in a company, you know? No one is demanding too much from you, but you're giving exactly what is asked from your position, so from your role. So whatever you are doing, you are uh, giving the right amount of effort. That's what I'm getting. You're giving the right amount of effort, the very balance, uh, very much, um, you know, um, uh, they, they feel your boss and your, I mean, the people that you work with feel that uh, you are worth the money, meaning that whatever they pay you as a salary or whatever is exactly what they're getting from, okay? Besides that, the first three months, you will be in a situation that you have the opportunity to make a choice. You know what happens when you're in a working in a company, you know, typically you are very settled in a position, they will push you or you will push you to make a decision. Meaning like uh, no one, uh, I mean, I have the feeling that you're not someone that, um, let's say, like to, be, uh, uh, like to be comfortable for too long, okay? So you like balance, but you want more. 
either you, I mean, this will resonate with some of, of you, or either the, your uh, your boss, your company, your uh, you know the the uh, the yeah the, the company that you work for will ask you for more, and you will need to make a decision between perhaps two two options. One is staying where you are at the moment, which is very stable, very balanced, and perhaps a different option later on. Let's see on the following quarter. Okay, six of cups. That's very nice. And the five of cups. Okay, so the next quarter, the next quarter uh, between those two options, I have the feeling that you stay where you are because we have two six here, which is uh, still you uh, remain on the balance, which is fair enough. You know, if you're not ready or if you feel like personally it's not the right moment, you don't need to change. Okay, so I'm getting that you will be tempted, you will have some kind of I mean, you will be a little bit blind because if you see this person, you know, is blind here. She doesn't know what to decide or he doesn't know what to decide. So you remain in your comfort zone, which is a good position. Again, you receive what you give. You're in a balanced position. You are not underpaid. You're not underestimated. It's all perfect balance. And the Six of Cups is telling me that you will focus on the second quarter on maintaining that position, you know, which is already there, but you will put a little bit more of effort on balancing your relationships at work, okay? The five of cups, <coughs> sorry about that, <coughs> sorry, okay. The five of cups, looking at the six of cups, is because you want to be in that position that you have a balanced relationship with everyone in the company, okay? And I'm getting definitely you work, I mean, I get the feeling that you work in a large company, meaning that there is a lot of people Okay, and you work in a in a in a big team, okay, and uh, you will have the the five of cups looking at the six of cups because you feel also, and this is a little bit connected, that may, maybe you are missing some opportunities. So you have two cups here that are full and three that are you know pouring, because you are looking at this six of cups and you say, what can I do to balance better my relationship at work? Okay, what can I do to balance better? And this will be your main focus. Your main focus on this on the second quarter. It will be all about you know making sure that those relationships are, uh, at work are balanced and everything. Maybe you have some disappointment with some people. Uh, pay attention to the number. You know, it could be three people that you you know you're more close to that uh, you're a little bit disappointed or they didn't help you as much as you wanted. Okay, maybe because you didn't follow this opportunity, but um, uh, regardless, uh, regardless, you will be achieving the six of cups. Okay, so it will take a quarter, it will take three months to balance this, but you will achieve it. Okay, six and six is a very promising number. You're a very grounded, very balanced person. Okay, you're doing the right things. And the next uh, two cards is the following quarter. So here we are in the summer period, pretty much. Okay, again, oh my god. <laughs> okay, your career this year is very interesting because now you are tempted again, okay? You are tempted again, but now, you know, before you were blinded, you were not sure, okay? Meaning that you didn't know, I go for this, I go for the other, what the hell I'm going to do, okay? You were not sure, but guess what? Here, yes, here you have the two options and the two options are real, Okay, are definitely real. You see the rewards, the balance, you know, in each of the offer. You have two opportunities, clearly two opportunities. Um, it's not, you're not someone that they let you stay. Um, I mean, your company really take care of you. Your energy is very balanced. You're a very balanced person. Okay, you treat people very fairly. You do the effort, the right effort. You worry about people, of course. You have this op two opportunity here. You were blind. You didn't know. Now you see the money in the opportunities. You see clearly what to choose from, and the good news is that you get it because the nine of cup is the wish fulfillment. And this person is so happy, so happy. I mean, you get your cup really full, and then you have all these cups that are waiting for you to, you know, to pour into that because they want your energy, they want your your success, they want, you know, your happiness. And you, uh, the Nine of Cups is always, um, you know, a very promising card. It's a wish fulfilled. So you start the year very balanced. Perhaps you have been doing this job for a li little bit longer. And around summertime, you have a real concrete option and you take it because it makes you really, really happy. Okay. 
and um, this is a concrete, concrete, clear offer. Okay, you have the offer, and I'm visualizing that this the, for some of you this will be in your company, and for some of you maybe the offer is outside your company. Okay, regardless, you have the opportunity to get another coin for your six of coins during 2020. Okay, what's going to happen in the final quarter? Okay, quarter final is starting in uh, October, October, November, December, final three months of the year. Oh, wow, 10 of cups and the page of coins. This is beautiful. Okay, I must say, a lot of, lot of economic and emotional success. And for me, this is important because when you do a job, you really want to feel fulfilled. You really want to, do, you really do what you love. So guys, you, I mean, the, the beautiful thing here is that you make the decision this quarter, okay, which is, uh, you know, end of September, September time, you made the decision and guess what? When you take the job, you, 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 you thought that you have a nine of cup. No, you have a 10 of cup. You thought you have a nine of cup. You have a, a 10 of cup. That means that it over is above your expectations. You get more than what you wanted. I think that you are a person that is very cautious in everything that you do. I I love it. I mean, I think it's, if I work for you, keep doing that. Well, you're a Capricorn, sorry. Capricorns and Ox, very steady, solid progress. I forgot about the sign and the relationship with the sign. Of course, Capricorns, we are very organized, very detail-oriented. You will never jump into something unless you feel secure that it's going to be a good landing, Okay. The good news is that uh, you're very realistic as well. You, you're someone that, you know, obviously is paying attention to, um, you know, to making, a, you know, the, the, right, the right steps. Guess what? You will feel even happier than you, than you thought that you will feel. So total fulfillment, total emotional happiness in this job. And the Ten of Cups also success is success everywhere. Okay. So from the, from the Nine of Cups, you go into a Ten of Cups, you didn't know. And the patient coins is beautiful because the patient coins is, I see you starting to give to others. So I'm visualizing perhaps um, that you start to share your, uh, your coin, to share your success, to share your happiness with others. And I get the feeling that perhaps you start managing people. Okay. Or maybe you start uh, taking someone as a mentor or I don't know. I have the feeling that you will share this knowledge with other people at this stage of your career and uh, you will share the success and you will share with that person or many persons, <coughs> sorry, uh, how you, how to be grounded, how to have your feet on the ground and make sure that you work towards, you know, achieving your goals. And that is the teaching that you're going to share with others. That's what you're going to share in the final quarter towards, you know, 2021. Okay. That's beautiful. And then I have another four decks here because I want to know, I want to know who are you becoming, you know, this year. You know, besides this beautiful picture, a final, uh, you know, another uh, goddess card about what is the goddess that you're going to embrace uh, this year? What is the goddess that you're going to embrace this year? Okay, because that is a supporting message. I want to see what light you're going to shine to the world. Okay, and also it will enlighten us more about, you know, what are you giving to others? Okay. So the goddess that you're going to become is the compassion. Well, this is beautiful. You're, you're becoming a compassionate person. Maybe, maybe the area that you work, and I'm getting obviously you're in a company, but the area that you work is very involving with uh, perhaps, uh, you know, helping others, okay? Uh, the industry maybe is around helping others. I'm getting, uh, I'm getting like um, an ONG, you know? Uh, an organization that uh, is a charity. I mean, like a bis I mean, charity is a very big business as well. Okay, maybe you work for a big charity. So compassion, compassion. You are learning to be you. This is the key for this year, and no, no surprise because we have the six of cups, the nine of cups, and the ten of cups. 
means that you are becoming such a compa compassionate person. You are helping others. You are focusing on the relationships. You are focusing focusing on uh, balance. You are focusing on uh, sharing your good with others and get get what you get the ten of cup. You learn the lesson about being compassionate, and it gives you a lot of a lot of uh, let's say rewards. Okay, then these cards. These cards are about who is going to be the person that is next to you, helping you to make this happen. Because I believe in this life, we don't do things alone. We do things connected to others. And of course, I can put like millions of cards here because obviously we have more than one person. But for the purpose of the reading, I will focus on one person. Who is the person that is going to help you the most this year? Or who is this, the spirit? Who is the angel? I mean, let's see what we get. Who is going to help you the most? And we have Diana, focus intention. Beautiful. This is, uh, I'm getting your partner. I'm getting a lot of masculine vibes from this uh, pile, okay? Uh, although you can be female, male, it doesn't matter. I'm getting your partner. Your partner. You have next to you someone that is very, um, uh, very uh, decisive, okay? So you have someone next to you that is very brave that is very uh, much your inspiration. I'm getting the Diana, uh, which is the goddess. They said, think about what you desire. Set your sight high, expect the best possible outcome. You will have someone so positive next to you. I'm guessing it's your partner, okay? For some of you, for some of others will be the best friend. And she, she see how, how good you are in what you do. Uh, this person see, Totally your talent and is helping you to uh, is helping you to raise your bar, meaning to aim for more. You were aiming from the nine. She makes sure that you your your you know you look for clarity on these coins, okay? And she help you to get the ten, okay? So it's a partner, it's a friend, someone very close that seeing you uh, that you're worth far more of what you think you are worth okay next car because i love this i mean i love cars obviously uh, the next car this is the the um, what is your main purpose this year okay we learn about compassion we learn who you help you you become in this compassionate person what is your what is the oh i mean what 2020 is doing to you regarding your life purpose Okay, what 2020 is doing to you, Capricorn and Knox, regarding your life purpose? Okay, what you need to focus. It could be your life purpose is not exactly this. It could be outside. It could be inside. What 2020 is doing regarding your life purpose, Capricorn? Books. Okay, you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. Okay, pay attention to a book that you're going to read. This year, pay attention to the book because that book is going to teach you about your life purpose. It's going to teach you about compassion, perhaps. It's going to teach you about how to make, to get this 10 of cup, how to be successful because you already are economically and pay attention to the book. So this year is an important reading to read books because they're going to teach you something important in your life. Okay? For your life, for your life purpose, okay. And the final uh, card is regarding your financial, your financial um, uh, goals. I mean, how you're going to do financially? I will put one card uh, because I'm. I honestly, I'm more focused on uh, doing what you love, being happy where you are. Because success, you know, energy, money is energy. So you are happy, you get rewards. I mean, that's that's my mantra. You do what you love, you get the rewards. I mean, it's simple as that. But I will put one card for the ones that are more aware. We are Capricorn. We like to see, know things. Uh, one card regarding your financial, um, your financial situation for 2020. One card, please. Go within. Oh wow! This is the number two, and it says number two. This is the higher priestess. Okay, this is high priestess. And the high priestess message is always go with your intuition, go with your intuition, 
Go with your intuition. Don't make the decision here. Make the decision here. Okay? And we have a two, a two, and a two. Okay? So it will be a very stable year in terms of uh, finance. Uh, the message I'm getting is very stable, very solid, no dramatic influx of uh, you know money, but you are far more focused on becoming a more uh, you know a better person. Uh, you know, becoming you're more focused on the emotional fulfillment, which I think is the right focus. Is the right focus. The money will be there. There is no worries about the money for 2020. Okay, the money is there. You are a really experienced person. Uh, you do, you know, you, you you know your craft. Let's put it that way. Okay. The important thing is follow your intuition. You know, to get the rewards. Follow your intu intuition, and be patient with yourself. Uh, and um, and there is no need to take more actions. You know, there is no need to take more action. This is you are getting this. This is yours. This is yours. Okay? So, thank you so much, Capricorn. Thank you so much, Ox. Hope you enjoy the reading. If any, uh, please let me know if this resonates. We will know in one year, of course, but uh, hope it helps. And, uh, you know, and if any question, all my contact information is there. Okay? Looking forward to hear from you. Thank you so much. Have an amazing, amazing year. Bye-bye.